Leighton House is one of the most significant artist homes in the UK. But what makes it different from others is unique design, which reflects the beautiful interaction of Eastern and Western art. The house was built by Frederick Leighton as his studio house. He started it in the 1860s. He lived here for 30 years and almost throughout the 30 years he was adding to the house or embellishing it in some way. And most spectacularly that was with the construction of the Arab Hall behind me which was built at the 1870s so about 10 years after he had first built the house he added this extension and it was really to celebrate his appreciation of the art of the Islamic world that he had uh, seen as he travelled through the Middle East and North Africa. We say he travelled first to North Africa when he was a young man in the 1850s and then he would travel to Turkey and then Egypt and then Syria and on all of these trips he was certainly making an, a great effort to visit places which he found inspiring and and aspects of them and influence and inspiration from them was brought to the design of his own, the own, his own house and the, the Arab Hall here. The Leighton House is so special for Europe because it's a jewel box uh, out of eastern part of the world and it's in such a mint condition. I really love it. The whole house, it's, it's a combination of beautiful European culture combined with uh, Southern Europe and Eastern culture. And on such a high level, it's incredible. It's like a museum you're walking in with the beautiful Izmir tiles and the beautiful columns. At, at that time, not everyone could travel. So no one was able to, to see those beautiful things of other cultures. And he combined the, the different cultures and the values of culture in one house. So that's really, really important that you, try, you have to uh, investigate the, the meanings and the values of other cultures. And you can often do it by culture. And that's what he did. He combined it all and he showed us that culture is very important for you and the mankind. and just came up to visit this because I've loved traveling in the Middle East and world and it gave me that lovely feeling being back in the Middle East.